everyone welcome to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to build a web based uh, contact simple application or you can say that will be a web based contact management through the um, power automate so i will create a system that lets user add contact and it can be helpful for fetching the contact as well let me show you the ui as well so here i have created this page and this is all in the power automate so user can give first name last name then email then the uh, user can hit on submit then user can see all the contacts so first of all let's go and see what all we have and what i have created okay so let me show you the first flow which is render the web page and here what i did is first i have added the action when http request is received and here i have said who can trigger as anyone and it is a http http get url the method i have set as get and this url which is generated over here this is the one url which we will be using for hitting in the browser now this url will get generated after saving this power automate flow now after this i have added one compose step and in this compose step i have added all the css html js code for creating the contact for fetching the contact then all the uh, page html css all of the all of these things i have added in this compose i will show you the code after this so after that i have added the action as response and here i have added status code as the 200 and in header if you see content type equals to text and html so that it will render as a html page and in the body i have added simply the output of that compose now this is the first flow and in the compose what i have written is in the code that i will show you later so this is the first flow which render the web page next we move to the second flow which is creating a contact so this flow uses a post method to send data and creates a record in dynamics cr so here also i have used the when http request is received and here also i have set as who can trigger the flow anyone and here i have set method as post and here i have set a json which will take the first name last name and the email address and here i have added the action as add a new row in dataverse that is prm we can say as well so here i have added the row in table contact in first in last name i have mapped to the last name which is coming from this um, HTTP request and here in email I have set the email address and the first name I have set as a first name so which is basically coming from the JSON object which where we will get the values now after all this I have set the response as well that okay on submission the record is created successfully and uh, that message will be shown now we have the third flow which is for the uh, fetching all the contacts so in that here also i have used same http request and over here i have used the action as a list row which is for retrieving the all the contacts from the crm and here i have uh, selected the columns that first name last name and email address only i want and in response i have said that 
okay in body uh, i have created this json type structure and in context i map to the body so this i will use in the code now basically what all happening over here that let me show you this diagram so uh, here first of all user opens the form whenever the user going to open the form or hit that url the first one which is the first flow url this one if i copy this url and i will go to the browser and as soon as i hit this url it will go and trigger our first flow that is get request render the web page so if i hit this url over here you will see that this flow will trigger that i can show you in history as well Nineteen seconds ago, it is. It okay. Now, the page is loaded. Now, here the render flow one will be rendering the page. Then, HTML form will be rendered, and user fills the form and clicks on submit. So, let me add values over here. Let's say I will add uh, A B C. Last name will be x y z and let's say email address will be a b c at gmail dot com also i have added some validation as well that we should have uh, we should uh, fill all the required attributes before hitting the submit so if you see please fill out all the fields before submitting that error will come now let me add x y z and let me hit submit so as soon as i hit the submit what all happen is user fills the form and clicks the submit post request and it will trigger the second flow which is of creating a contact record that is the second flow here handling for hand, handling form submission so this flow will trigger now we go and hit submit so this loader i have added in the code that i will show you later so um, as soon as I hit the submit button, this flow will run and it will say that contact is created. So, as soon as you hit the submit, the flow create contact will be triggered. And there, if you go and check that handle the submission here, if I check for the run history, it will trigger and it will create a contact in the CRM. So, see the contact just we have. Uh, created from the page it is created in crm as well full name is a b c x y z and the email address this one if i open this recording you can see the information first name last name which we have mapped and those will be present over here now the second thing which we have on our page that is show all contact so what it will do if i go to our diagram here when user clicks on show contact so our third flow which is fetch contact will trigger it has a get request it has action that list row and it will provide a json stripe structure and that will render over here so if i click on show contacts then it will render all the contacts which are present in the crm so these are all contacts six rows here also one two three four five six these are the six rows which are present over here so basically this application which we are seeing over here this is hosted into the power automate so which is this code so that code let us go to the code now so this code i have provided into the uh, github as well that you can check this link i will put in the description from there you can check so let us go to the code here that is actually a um, let me minimize this is and this one okay so this is all the html file so we have this html file okay and here we have some styles so this is all part regarding the css which we see on the form that you can easily generate from the chat gpt all code which i have written over here that all have generated from the gpt just you know the basic prompts that will help you how you can build the page and all so here as well i have uh, some loader and all that all things i have generated and here the main thing here is to uh, 
passing the URL. So whenever we have the submit button and we call the uh, we call the post method that URL. So that URL which is generated from the Power Automate that we need to paste over here like that. And our method is already the post. And accordingly, it will go and it will get the response. Then that response based on the response, I will say that record is created or if it has any error and also we have a show contact button there also we have some url so when i'm saying the url so you don't be confused i'm saying this this one url which is for get http get when we hit the uh, url in the form in the browser so this form will get loads and the second one we have this one handle form submission so here also we have that url from this so whenever we save this power automate flow that time it generates that url so that url i have used in the code and accordingly whatever we get the data so from the data i've created the table map the fields and uh, there we have one display notification function as well so it is for the notification which we see is over the form so this is all about the web page that is hosted and that's it for the today's video we successfully built a fully functional web based contact uh, management uh, application you can say or a page through power automate and then 365 so if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, that's it also you can check this url as well i will paste in the uh, description from there you can access and as i have set all the flows you can trigger as anyone so you can also trigger this flow you can also create the contact in my system let me know if you are creating and let see that how many contacts we will get you can click on show contact and from there you can check that your contact has been created or not so um, this this all things uh, i have uh, created from the post which is i saw in linkedin uh, which is from matthew devani so thanks for watching the video